In this video, we're diving into the symptoms of a bad camshaft position sensor. By the end of this video, you'll learn about the symptoms of a bad camshaft position sensor, its causes, and the necessary steps to diagnose and troubleshoot. The camshaft position sensor is an essential electronic component in an internal combustion engine. It plays a crucial role in monitoring the RPM and position of the camshaft. This information is vital for the ECM to manage various engine parameters, ensuring optimal engine performance and efficiency. A faulty camshaft position sensor can manifest in various symptoms, indicating potential issues with the vehicle's engine performance. Let's explore the symptoms of a bad camshaft position sensor one by one. The number one symptom is illuminated. Check engine light. A malfunctioning camshaft position sensor can cause the check engine light to illuminate on the dashboard. This happens because the ECU detects issues related to the camshaft position sensor and triggers relevant fault codes. Later in this video, we'll discuss common trouble codes associated with a bad camshaft position sensor. The number two symptom is engine misfire. The CMP sensor provides critical information to the ECU. If it malfunctions, the ECU may miscalculate the timing of the spark and fuel injection, leading to misfires. As a result, you may notice rough idle with noticeable vibrations while your car is stationary, such as when you're at a red light or stop sign. The third symptom is poor fuel economy. A faulty camshaft position sensor can disrupt the fuel injection timing, causing the engine to run inefficiently and burn more fuel than necessary. This leads to increased trips to the gas station as your vehicle consumes more fuel than usual. The fourth symptom is intermittent stalling while idling or driving. If your car has a bad camshaft position sensor, you may notice the engine stalling unexpectedly. This happens because erratic signals from the faulty CMP sensor can cause the ECU to mismanage the engine timing, leading to unexpected stalling. The number five symptom is jerking while driving. Another symptom of a faulty camshaft position sensor is your car jerking or stuttering unexpectedly while driving. This happens due to erratic signals from the sensor, causing the ECU to misfire and disrupt the engine's smooth operation. The sixth symptom is lack of power. Incorrect data from a faulty CMP sensor can disrupt the optimal operation of the engine. This happens because the incorrect data confuses the ECM, causing it to send erroneous spark and fuel instructions. This results in reduced combustion efficiency, leading to a noticeable lack of power during acceleration. Understanding the causes of crankshaft position sensor malfunctions is crucial for accurate diagnosis and effective repair. Here's a guide to diagnosing common CMP sensor issues. The first cause is mechanical damage. Physical damage to the sensor or its components can impair its ability to function correctly. This can result from impacts, vibrations, or improper handling during maintenance. The second cause is break in the encoder wheel. The encoder wheel, which works in conjunction with the CMP sensor, can develop cracks or breaks. This disruption can lead to inaccurate readings of the camshaft's position. The third cause is internal short circuits. Electrical issues within the sensor itself, such as short circuits, can prevent it from sending correct signals to the ECU. The fourth cause is electrical issue. Poor connections across electrical connectors, broken wiring, blown fuses, loss of ground, or issues with previously repaired wires can disrupt the connection with the CMP sensor. A bad camshaft position sensor can trigger OBD2 codes. The list of related codes is long, therefore we have provided this information in the description with their meanings. Check in the description for more details. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above, and the crankshaft sensor has been checked and found to be in working order, but the issue persists. It's essential to inspect the other components of the engine timing system that exhibit the same symptoms of bad crankshaft sensor. Issue number one is the faulty crankshaft position sensor. A malfunctioning crankshaft position sensor can exhibit symptoms similar to those of a faulty camshaft position sensor. The crankshaft position sensor 
is responsible for detecting the position and speed of the crankshaft. It plays a crucial role in determining the timing of the spark and fuel injection. When it fails, it can disrupt the engine timing, resulting in symptoms similar to the camshaft sensor. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty camshaft sensor. The number two issue is a faulty VVT solenoid. A malfunctioning VVT solenoid can exhibit symptoms similar to those of a defective camshaft position sensor. The VVT solenoid adjusts the timing of the intake and exhaust valves on the camshaft to optimize engine performance. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty VVT sensor. The number three issue is a faulty spark plug. A faulty spark plug may not produce a spark at the optimal time due to issues such as carbon buildup or a corroded electrode. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a bad spark plug. The number four issue is a faulty timing chain or belt. A faulty timing chain or belt, which connects the camshaft and the crankshaft in a vehicle engine and coordinates the opening and closing of the engine's valves, can also exhibit symptoms similar to a bad camshaft position sensor. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty timing chain or belt. Now the most crucial part is testing the camshaft sensor to confirm the issue. Testing a camshaft position sensor involves different procedures depending on whether you have a two-wire sensor or a three-wire sensor. A two-wire camshaft position sensor is the most common and simplest type. This sensor generates an AC voltage as the encoder wheel rotates. Here's how to test it by measuring the resistance. Begin by disconnecting the camshaft position sensor from its electrical connector and unmounting it from the engine. Ensure the engine is off and the ignition key is removed to avoid any accidental short circuits or electrical issues. In second step, attach the multimeter probes to the two terminals on the sensor. Ensure a secure connection to get accurate readings. In third step, set your multimeter to the resistance mode. This mode is typically denoted by the Greek letter Omega. In fourth step, measure the resistance across the sensor terminals and compare it reference value given in the repair manual. If the resistance is out of the specified range, consider replacing the sensor as it may be faulty. Now, let's discuss testing of three-wire CMP sensor. A three-wire camshaft position sensor is a bit more complex than a two-wire sensor. It has three wires, a power supply, a signal, and a ground wire. Testing a three-wire CMP sensor involves checking for proper voltage supply, signal output, and ground connection. For a more detailed step-by-step -step guide and troubleshooting tips, check out our detailed blog post on the symptoms of a bad camshaft position sensor. You can find the link in the video description below. If you found this video informative and helpful, Please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and repair. Your support helps us create more valuable content like this. Thank you for watching.